Hi everybody, today I am filming a What's in My Kids Easter Baskets. I know it is March 30th, right before Easter Sunday this Sunday, but I know you guys still want to see this video and this almost marks one year of being on YouTube for me. I am, my very first video on YouTube was What's in My Kids Easter Baskets last year. So I'm so excited um, that I can't believe I've been on YouTube for almost a year. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And also follow me on Insta Instagram, Makeup by Cat Z, where I post all this stuff ahead of time. Um, this is no means of bragging for my kids or anything like that. I took a poll on my Instagram yesterday if people still want to even see this, but um, some of my friends and family voted yes, so I thought, okay, why not do it? It's something fun for me and therapeutic. I don't know if that makes sense, like shopping is therapeutic, but um, I started collecting this stuff the end of Easter last year and then just kind of accumulated to everything that we have here today. Um, I did get the boys some essentials, like you could see shoes, clothing, um, summer toys, and then of course I got them a whole bunch of goodies as far as candy and stuff like that. Um, they will not eat it on all, all in one sitting. Usually my husband helps them eat their candy, and on top of that, we do movie night as a family, probably I wanna say like twice a month. So a lot of this goes in the pantry, and then they just kind of pull out the candy on movie night or if we're going somewhere, anything like that. Um, also, at the end, I will be showing you guys all the Easter eggs. I have not filled the Easter eggs. Um, I'll show you all the Easter eggs I found that I thought were really cute at Dollar Tree this year in Walmart. Excuse me. And then all the extra candy to fill the eggs and also the Easter um, outfits for the boys. So I hope this helps you guys get some ideas. Um, Ethan is our nine-year-old, soon to be 10-year-old in the beginning of May. And so they all, each boy got um, a beige Easter basket, which is their main basket. And I did make these bunny tags. I uh, showed how I made those on my Instagram. If you want to follow me there, I put it in a little um, Instagram bubble underneath a DIY Easter tags. And then they have just this little secondary basket and then all their outside goodies filled with stuff. And then these canvas bunny totes were from the Target dollar spot this year. They were $3 each. I thought those were so cute. And then this is Cash's side. This is our three-year-old, excuse me, um, and all his goodies. Um, I try to make it as even as possible. Usually I count each item for the boys, but this year I did not. I kind of just bought what I liked when I seen it for the boys and just try to ke keep a mental note on how much I got for each. And when I separated their stuff, um, it pretty it seemed pretty even as far as the goodies and everything else went. So I'm pretty happy with how it went. And I will show you guys um, probably Ethan's first. He is our nine, soon to be 10 year old. Like you guys know, it is a little bit harder to shop for boys that are older because they kind of get out of like all the little knickknack toys and stuff. So it's a little bit harder, more challenging. But as we go through it, I'll explain why I got it. And sorry if I'm echoey. I am in our down, um, downstairs spare bedroom where I just keep like all my extra home decor and I where I hide all the boys like birthday stuff, Christmas stuff, Easter stuff. Um, down here so if you see stuff in the background like boxes that's what it is it's like my extra home decor and it might be echoey also i have both boys home um of course ethan does school from here distance learning but he's on spring break so um he's not on his computer but i told him i'm gonna be downstairs filming something um if you can kind of help me watch cash because cash is a little um he likes to sneak down here and try to see me uh since my husband is at work today and I've been trying to get this video up. I'm so sorry, guys. But like I said, my husband works. So on his days off, we've been super busy. And this week, we're super crammed because it's right before Easter. Um, it was just my mom's birthday on this past Saturday. My husband's birthday is this Friday, April 2nd. Easter's April 4th. And then in between that, um, we have like haircuts and stuff for the boys and things like that. So I will be sharing at the end all the eggs I got, the Easter eggs I got. I have not filled Easter eggs for the hunt all the candy for the hunt, and then also the boys' Easter outfits. So let's start with Ethan. I'm gonna separate it first. So we'll go with Ethan, and then I will move over to Cash's. And I'm not showing my face today because I am not dressed, but I want to get this video out for you guys. So um, keep watching and let's get started. Okay, so this is our eldest son, Ethan's basket. I'm kind of gonna start, I'll probably start with their main basket here, which is, as you can see, like the name tags. Um, 
and then we'll work our way from there. And I'm probably going to start from the front, the smallest, the biggest, just so things don't fall. And then, oh my God, you guys, I'm going to have to put these back together after we're done. So let's start with, um, you know, let's just start here on huh? anything that's in the front. So these small little canvas baskets, each boy got one. They were from the Target dollar spot this year. They were $1 each. And then I just stuffed it with my boys love Pringles. So I found these spring Easter Pringles at Target for $1. And then I put these surprise bags, um, play mobile little figures. I found this one at Dollar Tree and also a Nerf disc launcher with two mystery discs also from Dollar Tree. Um, Ethan is kind of out of like this stage, but he did mention the other day when I brought cash, um, a surprise bag home from somewhere, he said, Oh, I really like those. They're so like satisfying just to open. So when I found these at Dollar Tree, I thought, why not? And he likes to collect little figures like this too and display it on his bookshelf. So that's in his little basket. Um, a lot of the things are different, but then a lot of things are the same for the boys. So when we get to those, I'll kind of go over them fast. And then these are their little um, bunny eggs from Dollar Tree. They have these, I've had these for years. Um, so Ethan is the blue. And when you open it, I have, you will see the same thing in cash. It's a poodoo. It's like a squishy splat ball, looks like a piece of poop. Um, they have different faces on theirs, but Ethan got this one and then they both got a pair of swimming trunks. This is what I like to do. I just like to get them ready for spring and summer. We live in Southern California. It gets really hot in the summer. So we're out outside quite a bit and though we don't have a built-in pool or anything, but just like a little kiddie pool and slip and slide. They love this. So let me put that to the side. So that's in his um, little bunny. And then Ethan likes basketball, so he I got him the basketball egg. I just got these maybe like a week and a half, two weeks ago at Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree sells out of everything really, really quickly, and it looked like my Dollar Tree had restocked. So I grabbed these, and in here I just have a few little goodies. I have Pop Rocks, which I got from Dollar Tree. Um, it, I think it came in like a three pack. And then, for instance, last year I got him these little bouncy balls, and they light up from after Easter clearance. And then this year I found these cute bath bombs. So um, Ethan is like, he has sensitive skin. So we'll try this out and see if he likes it. If not, Cash will use it um, if he doesn't break out. So I thought that was cute. And my boys love Nutella. So I found these little glass jars of Nutella for a dollar each at Target today. today. Um, this season, I believe, well, my stores are wiped out, so those are gone. I bought those like when they first put out Easter about like two months ago or so. And then my oldest son, Ethan, is really into anime, anything anime, anything. He loves sushi. So I found these gummy sushis and it looks like that. It comes with all those little things at um, their gummy candies at Five Below. These were $3 per container. I had bought a few of them thinking he's going to have an anime party because his birthday is coming up in May, but he changed it to his main theme is Minecraft for his drive-by birthday. And then his actual birthday lands on a Thursday. So we were gonna do anime, but now he wants to do like a, um, he's really into art and drawing. So it's gonna be a art slash paint theme birthday. So I thought I'll stick one of these noodle, gummy noodles. It's so cute, look, look at the little fake egg and food. So I thought those were really cute. And I looked on Amazon and these are like $7 each. So if you have a five below, they have really cute things like this. So they have this one, a taco and like a hamburger and all kinds of other stuff for $3. And then each boy is going to get a carton of confetti eggs. This is um, a tradition I do every year for the boys. They love to crack the eggs on us or themselves. So especially that we're quarantined, it's just something extra fun for them to do. Okay, so moving on. Sorry if I'm going fast, I kind of have a lot of stuff. I don't want to sit here for like 40 minutes with you guys, I know. Um, these canvas bags were $3 this year at Target Dollar Spot. And then I found these little Easter Bunny gnomes at Dollar Tree this year for a dollar. So Ethan is getting this blue one. I found these little gumball machines from the 99 cent store this year. So I thought this is so, so cute. And then later on they could fill it with other little candies or keep it on their nightstand or whatever just I think it's really cute um a dollar each at the 99 cent store 
and then they each are getting a slinky from the Dollar Tree. They just love these. I know it's like a cheap little slinky, but they love playing with these and it's something for them to do. And then last year after Easter, I found these on clearance. They're just the um, bunny jumpers. So they're like little bunnies. I thought these would be cute for Ethan. He likes little things like this, even though he's gonna be 10. And then um, these Airheads Chewy Bunnies. He loves sour stuff. Cash will eat it, but he doesn't really enjoy it. Ethan loves sour. So these are from Dollar Tree this year. Um, this is last year from Walmart Easter Clearance. It's just play foam. I believe they have a lot of this same stuff again this year, so you'll be able to find it. Um, just FYI, I went to Walmart last night and they had quite a bit of Easter stuff still, but it was getting wiped out. There was a lot of people in the Easter section. Um, I found these. I always get the boys new sandals or slides. These ones are from Walmart. They were $7.98, just plain black ones. He has name brand ones right now, but I like them to have just rinse off easy slides for if you go to the beach, the lake, or play outside. And then um, I think the rest of the stuff in here is clothing. So I found this shirt at Ross for $5.99 a few weeks ago. I just like getting the boys new spring clothes. It just kind of freshens up their wardrobe because we usually buy them back to or eat them back to school clothes um, during Christmas and then around this time. So this is when I like to get their summer spring clothes because obviously Christmas I get more of their winter clothing. So and like I said, we live in California, it gets really hot. So just something to refresh their wardrobe. And now that he does distance learning, he hates being in like um, like skinny jeans and stuff like that. He likes gym shorts like this. So I got him a couple pairs of these. These were $5.99 from Ross. They're just plain black and gray. And you know, easy to throw on for summer and spring. And let's see what else I got him. This gray shirt here, a dry fit. This one was from Walmart. Um, just the other day, they're bringing out all their like new spring clothing items for boys or athletic wear. These were $4.84, which is an amazing deal um, because I looked at other places and they're always $8 and up. And then I found these champion shorts. A little length going there. These champion shorts I found from TJ Maxx for $6.99. And I thought those are easy to wear, throw on, black matches, everything. He loves gym shorts. So there's quite a bit of that in here, if you can see. And then another pair of gym shorts. These ones are Nike ones. These are from Ross also for $5.99. Like you cannot beat that. I usually buy his Nike ones at like Macy's. And like you see here, they're regular $18. The bag just kind of got them a little dusty with that canvas bag. But yeah, so he's going to be excited to see all his new gym clothes. And then we'll move to this um, smaller Easter basket before we get to the big one. Let me show you guys up close so you can kind of see it. These were like secondary baskets I had bought a few years ago from Hobby Lobby. Just on a whim. I believe they were after Easter clearance. So now I just use them as their backup baskets. So let's go through this. We have a... Color, oops, a color and stick Star Wars egg. It just comes with stickers and a little coloring sheet. Um, he is outgrown for this, but he is a huge Star Wars fan. So I got this on clearance last year at Walmart. So I figured why not give it to him? And then they love things like these. Um, they're like a popping little egg. I took a lot of things out of the package so it could look, you know, a little bit more nice and um, it could actually fit because they have so much stuff. But you just press the button and it pops out the little egg. So Ethan got this color. It was after clearance at Walmart last year. Um, Cash does not chew gum because he is three, but Ethan is older, so he loves chewing gum. And I thought this was so cute. It's a strawberry lemonade edition for Easter. This was at Target this year, I believe, for like $2.99. So I got him these. He should be excited. I kind of got the boys, like, um, as far as their snacks, geared to what they like. Um, some things are similar, but you'll see some things are different. And then Ethan does not know how to jump rope. So, and I've been jump roping for exercise. So I thought this would be nice for him just to learn. It's like a soft kitty one. It has little bunnies just to play with in the spring and summer. I believe that was like a dollar at Walmart um, the end of last year. Like I said, Ethan loves sour. So I got him the sour peeps and he loves peeps. So I did get regular peeps also just in case he doesn't like these because he like loves, love, loves he loves marshmallow and he loves just like the sweetness of peeps. I do not like peeps. 
Cash eats peeps also, and my husband hates peeps. So it's just the two boys that like the peeps. And then each boy got a um, Palmer chocolate bunny. This is the double crisp. So it's kind of like a crunch bar, which is Ethan and Cash's favorite. So these were a dollar at Walmart this year. And I did see these, I believe at Target also for a dollar. I did not see these at Dollar Tree, but I seen a few videos with people finding these at Dollar Tree, but not at mine. And then I found this little scented marker, um, Sentos. So Ethan got the strawberry scented one. This was also a clearance find after Easter last year at Walmart. As far, and with these also, the wack -a packs where you hit the little package and then like a surprise balloon pops out. So this is just the Easter theme. Um, these were Walmart clearance last year also. I do have a video if you guys look back after Easter Walmart clearance, you can see all the goodies I found. And then this was at Dollar Tree this year, which, oh my God, I've never seen Kool-Aid cotton candy. I'm going to have to try this, but my boys love cotton candy. And I it is tropical punch flavor, and I just think it's so cute with the packaging. And I haven't really seen anyone post about finding this at Dollar Tree. When I seen it, I grabbed it so fast. It was probably about two months ago I found this. So as soon as they had put out Easter, I started grabbing all their stuff. I And that's one thing I do... Oh, you can hear cash is I always grab ahead of time and when I see it grab it because it'll be gone and then these are just like those little noisemakers each boy's getting one of these from Walmart um, I believe they're a dollar or dollar 99 I got this last year after Easter and then I just have like a little egg pick just to be decorative um, both both boys like the finger bath paint. So Ethan got the purple one. These are from Target Dollar Spot this year for one dollar. Ethan likes things like this. He likes under the sea creatures or ocean creatures. So this one is a um, it looks like a stingray and it grows in the water. They love Pez, so these were $1.99 at Hobby Lobby, but I believe, I know I didn't pay $1.99. I got these last year after Easter clearance, and I figured why not? The expiration date isn't until December 27, 2024. So, you know, things like this, if they don't expire for years and you can store them away, do it. I don't know how much I paid, probably like 25 cents or something. So I got these at Hobby Lobby last year. And then this was also another Easter clearance find from last year from Walmart. It's just a stunt plane you put together. Each boy got one of these. And then just another pair of flip-flops for outside. He needed a new pair, so these were 98 cents from Walmart this year. And then this is just like a Easter a Rubik's Cube from Hobby Lobby last year. Like, how cute is that? He likes the Rubik's Cubes, and I thought, why not? It's Easter theme, but... He'll get a kick out of it thinking it's funny. So each boy got one of these, I believe. Or maybe only Ethan because Cash doesn't really play with these. So we'll see. So that's for that basket. And now their main baskets. Ooh, it's so heavy. You'll see how much they differ. So um, I don't know if you can really see. I made Ethan's name tag. Um, the Easter Bunny wood cutout and the stickers are from Dollar Tree. And I just thought that was so cute. And then I just put some different like thicker jute twine that I had and tied it around the Easter basket. So both these pairs of glasses will start here. Sunglasses for Ethan I found at Dollar Tree. So I thought, why not? I got him a gray pair and a blue pair, neutral colors. And then these are his favorite. So this is like his special snack for him. I don't know if Cash really likes these, but he could try one of Ethan's. Um, but Ethan, the other day we're at the store and he even said, did you get me some of my favorite Easter eggs? I said, the Caber eggs. We'll have to see what the bunny brought you. But I did. I picked these up a few weeks ago and I thought, you know, make it extra special for him. And my boys still believe in the Easter bunny and Santa Claus. Um, Ethan knows like the Easter bunny at the mall and stuff is fake, but he, as far as like, he knows that Easter Bunny brings some stuff and mom and dad brings him some stuff. So, um, yeah, they still believe in stuff and Ethan will be 10. And then the boy's favorite is Kinder Joys. I picked these up at Target a few weeks ago. These were just like the fun spring colors. And I know they sell out fast. They're really popular too. And then this sold out. I went, I ordered online then I took it out of my cart and I ended up going into Target. And I believe this one might have been like the last one. It's a Warthead's Egg. It was $3.99. It just comes with um, like a whole bunch of different type of warhead candy like 
chews and stuff like that. So I thought that's kind of cool and different for Ethan since he enjoys the sour candy and something special, a little bit more, you know, like a big boy candy. And then both boys love their Krabby Patty. So I found these at, I believe Walmart weeks and weeks ago. Um, they were $1. So each boy did get one of those. Each boy got a Russell Stover chocolate bunny, a peanut butter flavor this year from Target. These were $1.99 um, because it does have the peanut butter inside. I originally was just going to do their, this Easter bunny, cause I didn't want them to have too much chocolate, but I thought, you know what? I just love, it's just a tradition to do a, a, a traditional chocolate bunny. So I ended up picking up this one after. So I figured it doesn't hurt if not me or dad will, you know, help eat it. <laughs> And then Ethan loves Pocky. So I found these um, cookies and cream Pocky sticks at Five Below. I be believe they were $2.75, but they do sell these at Target and I believe Walmart for a little bit cheaper. This just feels like a bigger box. I believe it is. It's a 2.47 ounce. So he loves Pocky. And then for his special shoe, we got him these vans for the spring and summer i found these at ross a few weeks maybe about a month ago they were $24.99 and i thought that was a great deal if you know vans they do tend to get pricey um it seemed like our ross was getting a big shipment of vans i found him a second pair that i really liked with pastel colors and i bought them and they were like in a checkered pattern um, but they were too a size too a half a size too small so i had to return those and he does not know about these ones i got these in a size five and then I got each boy one of these little spin eggs. It has like a little bunny on the inside from Dollar Tree with a little bit of candy. And then I just put these fun picks in here. These were from Hobby Lobby, or no, I believe this one was from the 99 cent store like a year or two ago, but I just opened the package this year. And these were Hobby Lobby last year. And I found, I found my package that was close. So I put each little bunny in um, each basket for the boys. And then he's going to get a golden egg. It is empty right now, but um, we give the boys um, $10. So we will put this probably in the Easter egg hunt with their $10 bill on it. And then I don't know if anyone else does this, but I give my kids a, you know, a themed card for each holiday. And then I write something special on it for them. And then what I do at the end is I hole punch it. And I have, I keep all their special occasion cards for them um, in a ring binder. So this is Ethan's. I found these at Dollar Tree this year. And then let's see, I found some more clothes for him. I really like this shirt, how bright the colors were. It goes with like his sandals and just some shorts. I found this at Ross a few weeks ago for $4.99 and it is by Neff Company. I don't know. I know that's a name brand company for boys, but so I got that one. And then, oops, I don't want the basket to tip over. I found just like this splatter pattern shirt. I don't know if you guys could see it. Let me see. At Ross also, I found this all in one day for $5.99. So I figured I might as well grab it. He needs some new shirts. He's been growing out of his stuff or he's been wearing it all year at school and stuff for um, distance learning. So he needed new stuff. Like I said, he loves dry fit clothing. I found this Under Armour one at, I believe this one was TJ Maxx. Yeah, TJ Maxx for $8.99. So I love that blue. And then he could just wear like some gym shorts and like these sandals. So it matches perfect. And then I found these water guns at Dollar Tree and I figured why not pick it up. Um, it's like the ones where you soak it in water and you pull it back and it gets all the water in here and then you splash each other. So I buy these every summer. The boys love it. It's easy for cash to use because he's three versus original like um, water gun where the kind of the, the nozzle is hard to press for him. So um, they each got one of these just different colors. So this is Ethan's. And then... I did not think Ethan was still into bubbles, but he is. He got an AR prize from his teacher for reading, uh, making his reading points. And so they drop off a gift at the front door last week. Well, she did. Um, she dropped off a thing of bubbles just like this and a paperback book. And he ran outside and played with the bubbles. And me and his dad were in shock. Like, you still play with bubbles? So he loved it. So I went in the next day to Target and I found these wands for 99 cents at Target. There are, they are by the Sun Squad brand. So Ethan is getting the blue. 
because Cash had bubbles in his, but I didn't think Ethan wanted bubbles, so that was a shock. So I went and picked them up bubbles, and then Cash really liked the long stick, so that's why I went and got more. Ethan loves beef jerky, so I got him the teriyaki um, beef jerky. He is so into Minecraft again. He fell off of Minecraft for a while, so I found this book at Five Below for, I believe it was $5 or $4.25. And it's just um, Mastering Minecraft 4th Edition, and it just kind of gives you, like, you know, all the little ins and outs of Minecraft. And I thought this would be a great book for him. And then I found uh, these books last year on Clarence at Target and Walmart after Easter and I know they are geared more towards the little children but I love how this one teaches you about um, Jesus the uh, Jesus calling the story of Easter so I thought this would be um, a nice book and it is like a hardback cover for Ethan and then I thought these ones would just be funny for him the grumpy cat because he gets a, gets a kick out of the grumpy cat um, it's super easy read and it has stickers in there, but I thought he could at least read it once or read it to cash and then give it to cash if he wants. So this was also from Easter clearance last year. Oops. And then same thing with this. It was two events for cash. It's a Bearstein Bears Easter fun sticker and activity book. And it gives, I mean, obviously this is so easy for Ethan. He's in fourth grade, but it's, um, like here, where search stuff like that, dot to dot, is too hard for cash. So I thought Ethan would have fun doing this. And Bear Seen Bears is just such a nostalgic book and for me growing up. So I thought this was great. And I like how it's like um, kind of like Christian based, The Last Supper. So I love that for them. And then Ethan's really into, like I said, like Fortnite. Well, not really Fortnite. He goes back and forth with Fortnite, but like Minecraft, anime, stuff like that. You know, he's a bigger boy. So I found these poster clips, um, which just holds your poster for $5 each at um, Five Below because I got him two posters. So I got him this. If you know anything about anime, I got him a Naruto poster. So I don't want to open it up, but that's how it looks. Naruto, which is anime cartoon. He loves Naruto. And then I got him this one. I don't know how you say it. Hashmi Minko? I don't know. It's like an anime girl. And he's like into anime girls. I think he crushes on them. But he gets so embarrassed when I say that. But it's like a cute anime girl. Um, she's not revealing or anything. So I thought that one was appropriate for him. Because some of them are a little revealing. And then, um, okay, I got two more shirts here that I rolled up. So this one's from TJ Maxx for $5.99. It's just this really pretty like powder blue um, dry fit shirt and this is by All in Motion from Target and it was regular $10 if you can see there and they marked it out and I got it for $5.99 at TJ Maxx for him. And then the last thing for Ethan is another dry fit shirt. Surprise, surprise. Um, this one is from Walmart also and this is like a charcoal green. I think the other one was black for $4.84. Okay, so that's it for Ethan, and then let me show you Cash's stuff. So we'll move on to Cash next. Okay, so now this is Cash's um, Easter goodies. So we're going to kind of run through Cash's a little bit fast, since some of this stuff is kind of repetitive or the same thing. Um, and then I'll like show you guys, obviously, like his little special goodies. So we'll start here, like the same thing we started for Ethan with the little bunny basket. Same exact one. He got the same Pringles. And then on his, I just put one of the surprise bags. He has the other Nerf, Nerf surprise bag in one of his baskets. So same exact one from Dollar Tree, just like older brother got. You know, they are seven, almost seven years apart and they still won't fight if they don't get the same thing. And then he got, he loves his like little plush baby. So I found this one, I believe two years ago on Clarence at Target. And I didn't give it to him last year since I gave him different little plushies. So he's getting this little guy this year. And then for his um, bunny, he has the yellow one. Like I said, these are from Dollar Tree. They did have them this year. I know they replenished and then they sell out really quick because they are a good little size here. So for cash, we have his Peeps Bubbles. I bought these at Hobby Lobby, excuse me, on clearance last year and I just saved them. He loves his bubbles, so he got these ones. And then for his um, little 
swim trunks. He loves Paw Patrol. His party that was just this past January was Paw Patrol theme. Um, if you guys want to see that, I will. I have it all on my Instagram, and it came out so cute for. I think it came out really cute for me doing it myself. Um, his like dessert table and everything. So these are from Burlington, and I got these for five ninety nine. I didn't mention Ethan's also were from Burlington. I believe were six ninety nine. So I mean, you guys know um, swim trunks can get really pricey. So that was really really. Um, a good find for me and so I grabbed these about a month ago so we'll put that to the side and then we'll move to eat um, cash likes any types of sports balls but I noticed he really gravitates towards like the football theme so I grabbed him the football just so him and Ethan have different ones and then in his he got the same as Ethan little pop rocks and then I found this little wooden taco truck at Target dollar spot this year for one dollar and I did grab other ones, but um, those are going to go to my niece and nephew. So, um, Cash, I kept the taco truck one. I figured he didn't need a whole bunch of those. And then his poo do is this one sticking out his tongue. I thought that's so cute because he loves to stick out his tongue right now at everybody. So, that's his little football egg. And then Cash is still drinking a bottle. So, um... What we're doing is we're gonna say the Easter Bunny took his Easter or his baby bottles, <laughs> and he knows how to drink out of a regular, regular cup and a sippy. It's just at night he wants a bottle with milk. So we're doing away with that on Easter. I know it sounds it could be a little bit mean, but the Easter Bunny's gonna bring him a special little cup here that pops up. And I found this last night at Walmart. So these are still available. And for the Zach brand, it was only $5.99, you guys. I looked at Target and these were like $12.99 and up. So $5.99 at Walmart. Um, I know they had girl characters, but I think they were kind of wiped out. So I found this one. And like I said, he loves Paw Patrol. Works out perfect. He is also getting a carton of uh, confetti eggs. Like I said, it's just something tradition we do. Sorry, I'm going kind of fast. It's just that we have a lot here and my AC unit just turned on. So I'm sorry if you guys could hear that. Um, you know what? Let me see if I could turn it off. I don't want it to be too loud. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, guys. I had to turn off the AC unit. It just like popped on. It was too loud since I'm literally it's right outside the window from our downstairs room that I'm in. Um, okay, so Cash got the same little canvas basket. It's so cute. It has like the bunny ears. So what I'm thinking is the boys gonna, are going to egg hunt with this basket this year. Um, so they could kind of keep all their stuff in here and it's kind of easy to carry. It's lightweight. Um, we're just doing an Easter egg hunt like we did last year by ourselves in the front yard for the boys. So, okay, let's go move on. So Cash got the same cotton candy, the Kool-Aid flavor. Cash loves peeps, like I said, but he doesn't really enjoy sour. So I got him these fruit punch ones I found at Walmart. I thought were really cool. We never tasted this flavor. So I grabbed the, these ones for him. And like I said, I like to do special things for the boys. Um, he doesn't love sour, but I still gave him these um, just so you know he's even with brother. And if he doesn't like them, me and dad love sour. So we'll eat these. And then I took his slinky out. So this is the slinky from the Dollar Tree. And I think it's really, really cool as far as the colors. Like they love the rainbow colors. So he got the same slinky. This was from Hobby Lobby last year. It is a wind-up swimming buddy. So I thought this would be really fun. It's like a bunny wearing goggles for either, and little fins, um, the pool or even the bathtub. I thought that was really cute. I found this at Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99, but I got it um, after Easter clearance last year. So I believe I paid like 39 cents for it. So I thought that's cute for him. Also from Hobby Lobby, same as Ethan. He loves the Pez, so he got the little chick. And then he loves like anything with play foam. He loves like kinetic sand, Play-Doh. So he got this little one, same as Ethan, got the bunny and he got the little chick here from Walmart after Easter clearance last year. And so was this after Easter clearance last year. It is sidewalk chalk, but it is Paw Patrol. So um, I only found one of these or else I would have grabbed all of them for like my nieces and nephews. This was the only one last year at Walmart left over at the time. So I grabbed this and I've been holding on to it since last Easter for cash. That's what I mean about shopping ahead of time is so good. It, it is kind of a pain in the butt when you have to store it for a whole year, but it goes by so quick. You just store it away, forget you even have it. So when things come up, it comes in handy and you don't have to pay full price for it. Same with this side watch 
Clarence Mine from last year. It is just like a little Easter egg um, chick and you put the chalk in and it's like a little holder. And then he got his little jar of Nutella. I gave each boy a different colored jar so they don't fight over it. Um, they could dip like little pretzel sticks or anything they want in it. And then let's see. He loves Play-Doh, like I said, so I found this Crayola scented Play-Doh. This one is in Green Apple from Dollar Tree for $1 this year. And he has multiple ones. Um, I just stuck that one in here because it didn't fit either Easter basket. And then he has these nuts and bolts where they just kind of like, um, you know, build your own thing. Kind of like a Lego, but you twist stuff. It is um, connected with STEM, which is like science, technology, engineering, and math. That's what it stands for. So I thought this was so cool. I found these after Easter clearance last year from Walmart. So 20 pieces. So I thought that was great for ages three and up. So perfect for Cash with his motor skills. And if you don't know, my son Cash was born preemie at 32 weeks, 30 weeks. I cannot remember why my mind went blank. But yeah, so he was super preemie. So things like that. He doesn't seem like to have any developmental issues. But I just like to stimulate his brain a little bit more than, you know, I would have before. Just because I want to make sure he stays on track. And then... He's getting this little Easter bunny gnome from Dollar Tree. This one's like in a till. He's gonna love this. Even even though he got the bunny, I know he he loves like little babies. He carries them around, carries them to bed. Okay, and then for his secondary, like green basket, same one as Ethan's from Hobby Lobby. We're just gonna run through this. He got the same egg shooter, but in this color pink here. He got, oops, we'll pull out this, his little double crisp chocolate bunny. Same as Big Brother. The little decorative egg. He got his scented marker and watermelon. Um, same as Ethan. They just like love, they're like creative, love to draw color, things like that. And then here his, is his Nerf surprise bag with the disc launcher. If you guys can find those from Dollar Tree, I think that's a great find. And then he got his Spider Man chalk. Like I said, he got a lot of chalk. Um, also, a clearance find from Walmart last year, the only one I could find, so I grabbed it. And then as you can see here, it has like a little roller. So as it shows there, it's easy for him to use. And it's like a powder form. And then this is his little water soaker from Dollar Tree. He got the green. So there you go. And it's been pretty hot. Like today, it's like 83 degrees or something. So yeah, it's pretty warm. And then he got this little, I think that's supposed to be a frog. Like it kind of looks like an angry frog or a dinosaur. I'm not sure. But this little jump rope so he could play with it with the other. And then he got these little sandals from Walmart. Um, his have like the little backing um, versus the slip-on. And these were $6.88. And then like I said, he loves anything like toys, musicians. So it's a musical set I got from Walmart last year. I believe this was like 3 or $4, but it was on clearance. So I might have paid like 50 cents for it. And it just has little things in there. And they had a lot of the similar stuff this year. Um, but like I said, I went last night and the day before to Walmart just to pick up like little things. Not for Easter, but I like to go down the Easter aisle and just like, you know, look. And a lot of it was gone. And then also Easter clearance last year is, it looks like a carrot, but it's a bat with a little ball. Um, so he got that. These are his um, balloon wand or balloon bubble wand from Target. He got the teal color just so they don't fight. Like that's my wand. No, that's my wand. They have separate colors. And then he got two of the bath finger paints. He loves the bath finger paint. It's like a soap. He got the pink and the yellow from Target. Dollar Spot. They were a dollar each this year. They had a ton of these and I believe like six different colors. And then, like I said, he loves his bubbles. So I got him this one because all his other ones kind of broke over the years of the summer and then quarantine last year. So I got him this one. He loves Finding Nemo. So I thought this looks just like Nemo. I got this one at TJ Maxx for $3.99. And then he got the same little noise thing, noisemaker from Walmart. And it has the beads. And then the same stunt plane. It looks like um, an angry shark. So I got that one. So that's it for that basket. And then we'll go to his main basket here. Um, we'll start with his glasses. These ones, 
I ordered for Ethan originally, our nine-year-old, from Children's Place Online. They were having a sale, so originally these were like six or seven, and they were like three dollars. But when they came in the mail, they looked way too small, so Cash is gonna get this pair. It looks like a wood grain. And then I found this pair this year at Target Dollar Spot for one dollar, and I thought you cannot pass that up, so I grabbed these. And these I have not seen since, so these sold out really quick. And then he has the scent of Play-Doh and a grape scent. He got the same egg as brother, but he loves, I mean, loves Peppa Pig. Um, 40 tattoos in his egg, and this was a Walmart clearance find last year. He got the green gumball machine from the 99 cent store. His ball has a little floating Easter bunny. These were from Walmart last year, Easter clearance. He loves his little plain M&Ms, so I got him this one. This is like his specialty candy. Like I said, the boys each get their own special little goodies. Um, these were from Target this year. Either Target or Walmart, you know, everywhere sells these, but these are just like the Easter edition with the little Easter basket on it. And it has like the pastel colors. His little special shoes are these little champion ones I found at Ross also. How much did I pay for these? We paid the same price, $24.99 as Ethan. And he just made new shoes and I love how colorful these are. And you'll see like I found matching shirts for him. So he's gonna be so cute and stylish. And to be honest, he hates wearing tennis shoes or shoes in general. He says his feet get hot, but when I get them dressed, I do like them to have little nice tennis shoes on. The same little carrot. He got the same little Russell Stover peanut butter filled chocolate bunny from Target. Like I said, he got the same bath bomb, the Peeps one from Dollar Tree, and he loves his bath bombs. And he got his Kinder Egg, which is a different design from Target this year. And then he has two of these. I bet I, I try to give him every um, scent, but I you know, was like, okay, let me put some away. He doesn't need to open them all at once. So um, they also have strawberry scent at Play-Doh and blueberry. And then Ethan does not wear bunny ears, but Cash still loves bunny ears. So I got him this pair from Target this year for $1. And I will be taking a picture of him on Easter with these. It's so cute. He got this little bunny rabbit for his little pit from Hobby Lobby. He gets the silver egg that we will be putting his $10 in for the Easter egg hunt. And so the Ethan don't grab both eggs. We know, we tell them like, okay, Ethan, yours is the gold and my Cash is the silver. So for his little Easter, or not Easter outfit, but his little springtime outfit, he loves Toy Story. And again, with the theme, um, he had his second birthday was Toy Story theme also on my Instagram. If you want to follow me there, it's Makeup by Cat Z. You can see all my photos and videos that I took of him and it came out so cute. So it comes, it came with a little shirt and like the little gym shorts. And usually I don't like these type of outfits, but he loves them and I thought, why not? And you know, it's going to be hot from Ross for only $5.99 for a whole outfit. If you go to like Walmart and Target, they're like eight to $15 for these outfits. So I thought that was a great find. And then I found these little champion shirts at, where did I get these ones from? Ross for $5.99 and it matches his little champion shoe perfect. If you can see, I thought that's so cute. And then I believe this is another champion shirt, it is. And this one I believe was on clearance, yeah, for $3.99 at Ross. And this one has like the green and the blue. So, so cute to go with his little shoes. And then these shoes also match like his little Toy Story outfit. And then I found this at Dollar Tree this year and they had quite a bit of characters. Like, I believe they had Rugrats, a few different ones and I was surprised, but this one is Paw Patrol Marshall and you open it into a little sticker. So that is his little special candy and he's gonna love that. He loves these and Magic Ink. Um, this is a uh, Mickey Mouse, he loves his Mickey Mouse. So it's like an Easter edition. I found this, I believe Easter clearance last year from Target. So these are usually like three to $5. So I don't know how much I paid, but um, same whack -a pack as Ethan. He got this little Eastern wand because he loves like his little wands and it lights up from Walmart last year, Easter clearance. So I just kind of put all this stuff away. And then he got the same thing, his Krabby Patties as brother. 
This is from Target Dollar Spot this year. He, like I said, he loves Mickey Mouse. It was $3 and it's the cutest little bucket hat. Like so cute. He loves to wear his bucket hats in the summer um, when he's getting wet. He does not like the heat on his head. And it just helps protect his little baby skin. And then I found this adorable Dr. Sue shirt. Um, it says it's a collectible tee for $3.99 at Ross. So I had to pick that up. I thought that was so, so cute. And then this little kaleidoscope, it has like dinosaurs and unicorns on it. And it has like rainbow. So when you look into it, it has all different shapes and colors. I thought that was so cute. This was an Easter um, find from Easter clearance last year. I just took it out of its packaging and gave it to Cash. And then like you can see here, it says little Easter bunny. And then like I said, I like to give the boys a card. So this is his little Easter card this year. A little tractor and the wheels that have glitter. So, so cute, and I'll write something special in there, and like I said, I saved this for them. For the Easter books, I found this one. He loves Ethan's Disney books like this. Um, Ethan doesn't read them anymore, but Ethan's very nostalgic like me. He likes to hold on to his stuff, so he doesn't like Cash touching his nice books like this because Cash does tend to rip stuff. He's only three. So, when I found this one last year on Clarence after Easter, I believe it was regular $12.99, and I paid like a dollar twenty nine or two twenty nine, something like that. It was something crazy. So I love it. So he's gonna probably flip out when he sees this that he has his own like big boy book with multiple Disney stories. We love Disney in this house, and we love movies and books. So such a great find for um, for him. And I have like, if you look back at my old video, I found all my books, so many books, but I only gave him a handful. Um, at a time because I just don't want him to be overwhelmed and then this is his little Easter egg He got the pink and blue one with the little bunny in it from Dollar Tree with a little bit of candy Another Easter clearance find from last year from Walmart peanut rabbit five-minute stories I thought this is a beautiful book For him um, for me to read it's you know so he can look at the pictures and see and I just think that's so adorable and Peter Rabbit is like a year-round storytelling book also just like Disney um, I just think these are great finds and I believe that Peter Rabbit was only like regular six dollars and it is a hardback and it's pretty big again Easter clearance all these books are Easter clearance from last year I just held on to them Paul Patrol he's gonna flip out and it has like um, the little like pop-up little story thing so he lo loves these because it's like interactive so cute so so cute so he's gonna love that one again his other favorite Peppa Pig and this one includes stickers so like I just think that's so adorable and I love books for my kids I was like I always loved books growing up it's just that you know we really couldn't afford books books could get expensive so I love doing that for the kids now and then this Easter coloring book was from Hobby Lobby last year it was $1.99 I believe Easter clearance I got I paid 19 cents for this and I just think that's so cute and I mean you cannot beat it and Cash's other YouTube favorite is Ryan's World. And I found this kite from Dollar Tree. So that is the end of their Easter baskets. Now I'm going to show you really quickly the candy, eggs, and then the boys' Easter outfits. Let's see what I got next. Hold okay, on. so let me quickly show you the Easter eggs. Um, these ones I found last year and I just held on to them. They are the iridescent seashells from Dollar Tree. They are Easter eggs. Um, if you do have little girls and you have like a mermaid theme party or a boy that wants a mermaid theme party or under the sea theme, this would be beautiful. So I had these, so I will be using these this year. I have two packs of those. That, and I did see those again this year in my Dollar Tree. That's why I'm showing you. These are brand new to my Dollar Tree. I picked these up. Um, Cash loves to like make like fake food and play with his kitchenette. So when I see them like, and bake with me, the little mini cupcakes and like designs they have on it, I had to grab it. I don't know why I didn't grab two of these. I only grabbed one, but I have one of those. And Ethan loves under the sea theme, anything with, like I said, any sea creatures, stuff like that. So this one has like little sharks, a purple blue shark, starfish, um, one that looks like Nemo there. I thought this was so cute. Also never seen these um, at Dollar Tree in the past um, Easter season. So I grabbed one of these. And my favorite of all time, I showed all these in an Instagram story 
um, weeks ago when I found them um, as far as my Dollar Tree haul. I didn't do a regular Dollar Tree haul on here on YouTube, but I'm showing you guys now are these little truck Easter egg containers. Like how freaking cute are those? So they have like the little rainbow colors. I picked up two of these just in case they don't have them next year. So found these. I almost died when I seen those. I grabbed two of those so fast. Um, these are from Walmart clearance last year. These are the only ones I found. These are just empty containers, but Paw Patrol. So Cash will be getting all three of these um, once I fill them with candy in his Easter baskets. Another Easter find from last year, Walmart, are the Trolls. These already have candy in them, I believe. I'm not sure. Or they might be empty, but so I will be filling these for the Easter egg hunt. Okay, no, those are empty, the Trolls ones. These are the ones that have candy filled eggs. It's these Trolls eggs, and then he loves Spider-Man. So these are already filled, and I bought these last year. They're the only ones left, and they are good by June 15, 2021. So that's why I bought them last year. They stayed good, and it's just like little hard, um, like little bite-sized candies. Um, like I said, if you could find stuff like this ahead of time, do it, and they're so good. And then this was also Easter clearance last year. I didn't need too much eggs. I gave away a ton of donation of um, eggs this year. So these are the new ones. I have these really pretty, like, almost looks like foiled ones. And then these matted out ones. And they all have, like, little different designs. Like you can see here, this one has, like, Easter bunny and a carrot. Little flower print. And they are so, so pretty. So I will be using those. And, of course, I had to pick up one of the carrots. I had these in the past years, and I just don't know what happened to them, so I just picked up one more pack, just because it's really cute to put in the boys' Easter baskets. So those are the Easter eggs I have for the Easter egg hunt this year, and now let me show you the candy, okay, guys. So this is the Easter candy for the Easter egg hunt. This is nothing including in the boys' baskets, like as far as their specialty that I already showed you guys, so this is all just for Easter egg hunt. Um, I will be splitting it into also like a little goodie bag for my husband, and maybe some for my nieces and nephews that I might see. So this is not all going towards the boys. But before I forget, I want to show you these little chocolate bunnies. I found these yesterday. So today I'm filming, it's March 30th. I found these Monday night. I went to one of um, the Walmarts that I usually don't go to. I seen these weeks ago at my Walmart and I went back for them and could not find them. They were sold out already at the two Walmarts. So I went a little bit further down the street. Well, not down the street, but further. And I found these at a Walmart and they have one box left. So they are 98 cents each. And it's actually, it comes apart. So you can see there it has like little tape. So it's actually a container, like a little container. You can fill it with like candies or whatever you want. But my mind went to home decor. So when I seen it weeks ago, I was like, no, I don't need it. Because I had already decorated for Easter. But then I thought about it and I was like, no, I should have grabbed them. And I could not find them. So last night when I found them, I grabbed six of them. Um, I have a four-seater table. And then next year, I probably will be putting... Um, either one in each boy's basket or um, on their place setting in the morning. So I love how it looks like a real chocolate bunny. That is the cutest. So if you can still find these, I just want to show you guys 98 cents and hopefully I will be uploading this video tonight. So be on the hunt for these. So, so cute. Okay, let's get to the candy. So we have just the party cake peeps. I bought these um, just for the boys, just in case they don't like their, you know, other flavors. They could have these ones. Um, and then I have the original peeps back here. I got three packs of these. These are not for the boys, they're the bunnies. I have a special cake I'm gonna try to make with these. So um, we'll see how that turns out. So I got these from Dollar Tree and these I believe from Dollar Tree also. And then I found these, sorry, I think, I can hear cash, at Dollar Tree. These are like little chocolate bunnies. Um, okay, like so as I was saying, these are like these little chocolate individual little candy bars or chocolate bars I found at Dollar Tree and I thought they were so cute. They're like little miniature ones. So I will be splitting these up into a few different Easter baskets that I'm making. So those are really cute. I found these um, twisted spring punch rolls, um, sweet tarts from Target for a dollar. These Tootsie Roll eggs. They're like hard shell eggs with Tootsie Pop in the middle from Dollar Tree for a dollar each. I ordered these from Target, um, you know, drive up pickup. Um, they're the fave reds. My husband loves jelly beans, so I grabbed a bag of those. These are from Target, just the gummy Easter bunnies. So I grabbed one pack of those. 
And then I had ordered from Target Pickup also all these little mini packs to stuff in eggs. So these will probably go in like my husband's basket or something. And then these will go in the eggs since they're individually wrapped. I found this little peanut butter white chocolate egg from Palmer at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put this in my husband's little Easter goodie bag. I make him an Easter goodie bag. We don't usually do anything for each other. I always make him a goodie bag. I don't ever get anything, but I don't care. I don't really, I'm not like a big candy eater plus... It's just something small for him. Um, so I just dropped those. Sorry if I hit the camera. These Easter dots. Um, my husband loves these, so I grabbed a few boxes of these. Um, we have the sweet tart jelly beans are from, God, I can't remember for these from Walmart or Target. But these Walmart ice cookie pops are so cute. I grabbed one for each boy. I believe these were a little bit more. They were like $2.99, so $3 each. But I usually, a, a few times I got the boys custom made cookie pops or cookies and they were pricey for two cookies. I would pay like $18, um, which is totally reasonable. I mean, it's someone, their personal business, but if you could find cute things like this, why not? So I found these ones at Walmart for $2.99 and I know at Target they had like marshmallow ones for about the same price, um, Easter theme. And then I found these mini Cadbury eggs. I've never tried these, so I ordered these from Target. Um, they're milk chocolate, so I got two bags of those. I had two bags of these, but we finished one. Lifesavers Spring Mix from Dollar Tree. I have two bags of these pretzel eggs, so it's solid milk chocolate filled with crunchy pretzel pieces. I grabbed two of these from Dollar Tree. I grabbed two boxes of these from Target, just the plain M&Ms, but they're in the pastel colors. These are also... Um, going to be with the cake I'm going to be making and then one extra box and then another extra box of these sour wart heads for my husband my husband's a huge candy eater and so I got him these nerds ropes one of his favorites from Target for one dollar these are his favorite also or the eggs Reese's pieces he likes the original peanut butter in there not with the little bites so I got him one of these I grabbed these Ring Pop Tropical Flavors. They had these at Walmart, and I don't know if they had the Tropical Flavor at Target, but I know I see them at Walmart, but I found these ones at Dollar Tree. It comes with four in a pack, so I will be splitting these up between Easter baskets. And then another one of our favorite, we like like sour and chewy candy a lot, um, is Now Later Splits. I grabbed two bags from Dollar Tree. These I've never seen before I found at Dollar Tree. They are little shaped carrots with powder candy. Um, those are going to be split up between Easter baskets also. And then the last candy bag is these candy bracelets. Like, oh my God, again, I know I say it, but these are so nostalgic for me. So these are, will be going through um, a few candy bags. comes with 10 pieces for $1. You cannot beat that. So that's it for all my candy. And let me, last but not least, show you the boys' Easter outfits um, that they will be wearing on Easter Sunday. Okay, guys, let me show you really quick. This is the boys' Easter outfits, and then we are done. So I found this one for cash. It comes with a bow tie and a little checkered, like almost feels like a linen material, and then like little khaki shorts. I found this a while ago again um, at Marshall's for $12.99, and this is kind of what kicked off how I want the boys to dress. So I ended up going online and finding even something similar. Um, so this is Cash's Easter outfit. And then I went online and I found Ethan, this um, blue button down. As you can tell, they're like check-ins are a little bit different. But I like to dress them different but similar or if not the same on holidays. I just, it's something I love to do and Ethan's getting older. He probably won't let me do it for much longer. So this was Ethan's. It was $24.95 and I got it on a super sale. So I think all their, East, it was considered like Easter wear is like 60 to 70% off online. So check it out. Um, and I got Ethan these khaki shorts here, just with a little belt. Um, these were, let me see, $20, $19.95, and I got them half off, so I found these for like $9.95 or something online, and then I had to go exchange them because they have no, like, stretch. So they're a little bit big, but they're better, they had no stretch, like, in the waist, so it was kind of tight on him, so I had to go a size up. So if you're looking for older boys or your own kids, kind of size up. I usually size up to 4T for cash also. Also online, Children's Place, the cutest little denim jackets. I love for them to have a denim jacket during spring and summer. I think it's just something that looks so, I don't know, like 
California to me like to have a denim jacket. So um, Cash's was twenty four or twenty nine ninety five, and I believe I got both their jackets on sale online for seventeen dollars. So they got the same exact one. It is if you're looking for it, it's called the Quinn Q U I N N the Quinn Wash. Um, I got Cash a fourteen. And I got Ethan's size extra large, which is a 14. His was, I believe, 35. He already wore this for spring pictures at school. So I took the tags off. And as you can see, I like rolled up his little sleeves. But it was also $17. And then I got both boys a pair of white Adidas. I found these ones for Ethan for $30 at Burlington. And then cashed this little pair of white Adidas at Burlington for $25. So that is it for my Easter haul, their Easter outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. Bye.